Hello everyone, my name is Richie Leahy, and today we're gonna to look at the official Steam Deck dock. Now, this is something that I've been waiting for for a while, and I couldn't really find an answer to some of my questions because I wanted to use the Steam Deck as sort of just a computer that you can keep docked, play some games on, and instead of having a major like desktop computer, you can have something that you can take with you. Now the, the Steam Deck dock has two outputs, one DisplayPort and one HDMI. So I always wondered, could you do um, desktop mode and do multiple monitors? And I set it up now and it does work. This is my first look at it. So we'll kind of go through it here. Um, inside the display configuration um, options, you do see that it does identify three different monitors. So the Steam Deck itself has one, which you've seen in pictures, that's considered the laptop screen. And then we have the display port and the HDMI. The Steam Deck does recognize the HDMI port as the main port. If you have both plugged in and you go into game mode, it only displays the output using the HDMI. So you would wanna go ahead and use that as your main option if you're going in that direction. Next, um, the one thing that I've noticed so far is that the display port, even though this is a 1080p television, it's only showing me a 4.3 resolution right now. So I'm not really sure what the, what the cause of that is, but I'm hoping that I can figure that out because you can kind of see, and sorry for the display here, I tried to make this the best I could set up it. We have a little bit of glare and stuff going on, but I wanted to show how all three screens worked. So right now I have the Steam Deck itself as my primary. There's a checkbox here that says primary. I know it's hard to see, maybe on the zoomed in one, it'll be a little bit easier. But if you wanted to make this your primary, you would just check it and then it would give you a pop-up. Um, once you click apply, the button's kind of off this screen because of the wonky resolution. Now, the, the way you can configure these, I have them kind of set up where you can just click and drag. That is the main option, but I have them set up so that my Steam Deck's kind of underneath and I can move my mouse down to the Steam Deck, I can move it up or across to one of my other monitors. You can set those up by just dragging them and moving them around. And in my situation, I'm using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard Let's say I have the Steam Deck sitting over there um, on my stand and there's no way I'm gonna be able to see, it, to see it sitting at my desk. I can just check this box and it will disable it. So like if I go back over here so that I can see the apply, I can turn off that screen and I can move these back and forth. So you can see now the display port right now is considered my primary. I can change that to the left computer that has the better re resolution right now. And there we go. Now I'm wondering like if I don't have the laptop on, am I still seeing the same limited amount of options? And yes, I am. Um, I have tested that cable with another computer and I was able to get 4K resolution out of it. So I don't know if it, this is a limitation on the dock, if there's an issue um, with mine. You can also replicate these if you want, which is handy where if I wanted to switch back and forth I could just have this be um, a replica of whatever my main one is. So if I do that and hit apply, it's not gonna still look right because it's really zoomed in for whatever reason. So I'm gonna have to see if there's an option on my television. Um, but as of right now, it does work how I intended it. And you're able to get three screens if you really wanted to. You can kind of go back through here in the drop down because you're wondering, hey, now how do you select it if you don't want these to be du duplicated? Um, just click the drop down here and you can kind of go through and enable them, disable them. If I wanted it to be its own thing, I can go ahead and set that up. If I wanted the Steam Deck to have its own screen again, I can just enable that, drag it back underneath how I had it, apply it, and I'm back to my main setup. Although you can kind of see where I have Let's move my mouse around, there we go. So you have to click keep. If the mouse gets completely off the screen because I moved it somewhere where it's not supposed to be, I can just wait for that timer to run out and it will go back to your previous setting. But now I'm able to mess around this a little bit more. 
Um, I do have, I have different resolution televisions here, which might be my issue. Although the television on the left only goes up to 720p. And right now it's spitting out, it's saying that it's 1080p. But I know that that television doesn't have that high of an output. The one on the right is, is a 1080p um, Samsung television. So in theory, that one should allow me to do it. Um, as of right now, there's some type of limitation either in the te television itself or in the dock having both output. Uh, in game mode, there's no way for me to pick which television I want to use, which to me would be a nice handy um, option that they could add in there because I have a, you can see it kind of off the screen there a little bit in the bottom left. I have a, a Nintendo Switch hooked up and uh, primarily the left television is where I would game. I know that having a 720 television is gonna give me good performance on any of my games that I would wanna play on the Steam Deck, even newer ones. I'm not trying to force it through a 4K resolution here, but as of right now, just a quick look at how the different monitor options work inside the Steam Deck. It is possible, at least in desktop mode, to use it as a workstation. I've tested a lot of applications that I enjoy using, Audacity and FileZilla, programming apps like Visual Studio Code, and everything seems to run really well. You can kind of see it's a little bit hard with the glare right now, but I do have three different browsers I've been testing out to see how they work, and everything's been great in terms of getting things to run with the Steam Deck and the new dock. Um, I also have a different dock, so I'll create another video just comparing the two docks that I have and what the differences are, but definitely worth checking out if you wanna use your Steam Deck as a workstation. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.